Hello YouTubers, welcome to vlog number 77. I'm already head down to the club for the morning's session. This morning is a 40 minute on the bicycle. So we've got my cycling shorts on. Oh yeah. I'm gonna head down now on another beautiful day in Henley. Sun's already out. Blue skies. Let's get down to the club. Made it down to the club, got my smoothie, oh sorry, milkshake, strawberry banana, protein powder, milk. Let's get straight to the club, into the club, for that cycle, here we go. And a fantastic session on the bike. Feeling a bit congested and old nose, but I'm keeping track of it. My heart rate's staying down. And it seems like it's just a head thing. But always be smart when it comes to your health. Heart rate was low. Watts around 240, as you saw. Waiting for breakfast with Blazer Fisty. <laughs> Patrick Munnelly. Waiting for my food now. Eggs, toast, beans, sauce. We're gonna eat that, recover, and then do weights next session. Let's get to it! And we're about to go on ERG 35 minutes on the rowing machine. Let's get to it. And welcome to another ERG Thoughts with Cam Bucking. Just as I'm setting up myself on the machine, getting my seat pad there, getting my feet in, straps tightened up. Here we go. Today's topic is heel height on the rowing machine. So I have talked about this before in vlog 30, I had a little bit of discussion on drag factor and in said discussion I discussed heel height. But I'm going to just talk about it a little more, make sure it's clear of heel height on the rowing machine. Remember, this is my thoughts and they are probably incorrect. So take them with a pinch of salt, this is just my experience and what I think about heel height in particular. So as we're setting off here on the rowing machine on the 35 minute erg, you can see my heels are coming a reasonable distance off the foot plate. That's why I've stuck the camera at this angle. It's not too close, but you can see that my heels come off, I don't know, what's that? Two or three inches anyway off the foot plate. And that's with my weight shoes they do have higher heels on them so they'll probably be a little more if i had different shoes on they do have a flexible toe but the heels are solid and higher so should you have your heels pressed down all the time or should you let them come up on the rowing machine so if you think about it your feet uh where you sit and your feet are really where you're attached to the rowing machine you use the handle, but really it's your the seat and your feet. So the more surface area in contact with the machine, the probably you're going to get more control on the machine. But it is very difficult to have that surface area. So if we talk about the surface area of the foot when you're pushing off the foot, in theory, if you could have a flat foot and push directly against that at the right angle, it should, in theory, produce good results. But, so imagine my heels are flat. I get to about just past half slide before my heels come up, so I either have to sacrifice length on the drive, or sorry, the recovery, or I let my heels come up. So that's why I say heel height is very individual. Some people are just shaped in certain ways so they can keep their heels down. Some people are very flexible so their heels can go down as well. Other people it's just very difficult and very unlikely that they're going to have their heels down at all. But that's not me saying that heels should come up or heels should stay down. 
it is just a very individual thing. And like I said, in theory, if you could keep your feet down the entire time, it would give you a better platform to push on. But everybody that I know ergs with their heels up. I don't think I've seen many people at all able to get to full slide with their heels down. I have seen it one, but it's a very flexible individual who's worked on it time and time again. So therefore, heel height essentially doesn't matter so much. The thing about heel height, which affects your stroke, which affects your recovery, is when your heels do come up, what can happen is that you can tuck underneath with your, your butt, and that's when problems start to occur. So if you stay in a strong position, so that's why I use a seat pad, I can stay a bit higher, and like we see at the catch, I'm just a little bit past vertical, so I'm probably actually going too far, but I'm not really tucking underneath with my glutes and my hips. I'm just sort of going over, my shins are going past vertical, and I'm pushing backwards almost. And that's what you want to try and do, rather than tucking under, because sometimes, there's a tendency to when you do lift your heels to tuck underneath and then you've got no layback or no lean forward and all sorts of things go wrong in the stroke. But that's a whole different subject for erg thoughts. But let me just reiterate heel height. Heel height is really an individual thing. There is no specific measurement of the foot plate that you should be aiming for. Really go for something comfortable that you can manage a strong, consistent technique. And if you can manage to consistently produce the same stroke in the correct technique, then your fitness shall improve and injuries would be reduced or should be reduced. But again, I'm not a coach and what I'm saying is just my thoughts. So take it with a little bit of a pinch of salt. I'll join you after some slow-mo rowing footage Helped along by Ed Fisher. See you there. And we once again are back in the crew room with some lasagna and the boys coming into play. Isn't that right, Fraser? Oh yeah, just fueling up. Fueling up because food is fuel. Got one more session for the rest of the day and that is weight. I'm probably going to chill outside for a bit as well while we let the food digest and before the next session. See you in the next part of the day. A fantastic lunch. I've ended up outside somehow. Now to go do some weights with the lads. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
more excited for weights? Absolutely. I want to do some more training. <laughs> Epic! <laughs> See you in the gym. And we've made it back to the house. Is that better? What a great day it's been. Bike, erg, weights. Talked about my nose being a bit congested. Seems to be an allergy, hay fevery kind of deal rather than any illness. But still keeping safe, monitoring my heart rate, making sure it's all good, which it seems to be. Great day. I'm gonna edit the video. Oh yeah. Remember, subscribe if you haven't already, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below if you liked the slow-mo. Have a good one.